Hi, Kat from Standing Stone Kennels, and we have Quest with us this evening playing. And as we've mentioned before, she's quite the biter. And that's probably one of the number one questions we get is how to stop my puppy from biting me, right alongside how to work on potty training with my puppy. So that being said, it's um, pretty normal for puppies to bite and have potty accidents. So don't be concerned if your puppy's biting you, it's completely normal. We're just going to help you uh, work through that with your puppy a little bit. So first things first, you've got to remember that puppies are biting you not because they're being mean or trying to hurt you. Um, they're biting you because they're trying to play with you just like they play with their litter mates. And when they play with their litter mates and their other puppy friends, they bite them. Um, and then they need to learn that we are not their litter mates. We are not a puppy. And yes, we can play with them, but they can't play with us the same way they would with their puppy friends. So that being said, we use um, bite inhibition training to teach them how to play with us. Bite inhibition training is basically showing them how much they can bite us, how hard they can bite us, and letting them know that basically any amount of biting and pressure hurts us because we are wimpy and they have very sharp teeth. Um, one common question that we get is, well, I tell my puppy, no bite, no bite, and it doesn't work. Well, the reason that that doesn't work is, first of all, your puppy has no idea what that cue, no bite, means. Just like you take a brand new puppy, like Quest, and I tell her, sit. Quest, sit. She has no idea what that cue, that word, means just like she wouldn't have any idea what no bite means. And then if you incorporate that with shaking your finger at her, that typically is just going to amp them up more and excite them more because it seems like a game, <laughs> like she just did came and grabbed my hand, um, because that's stimulating their prey instinct and their prey response. So um, not using no bite as a cue and your hand movement as a prey drive instigator um, would be the first steps. So with bite inhibition, basically we're going to be playing with her um, and this is going to be a training session. So just like we're doing in any training session, we need to have time and patience to work with our puppy. And yes, puppy teeth hurt and we don't necessarily want to be bit, but it's better to teach them now when really they're not using and able to hurt us all that much um, because their teeth and their jaws aren't that strong yet. So it would be better to teach them now how to bite us without any pressure and not bite us eventually at all than um, wait until they're older and are biting with way more pressure than they need to be. So I might have to take her new toy away because she may be only interested in playing with that. Um, so I'm gonna just snag that one out for right now. And we'll play with these other toys, like the rope toys. Yeah. So the key with bite inhibition training is it's going to be instinctual that when she bites me, that I jerk my hand away because it kind of hurts and it startles you and that's what your instinct is to do, but it's important not to. First of all, if she bites me with her little sharp teeth and I pull my hand away, most likely it's gonna hurt me more than it had already, um, as well as that, again, stimulates their prey drive and it just makes the game that much more exciting. So, get her back over here. Look at this toy, look at this toy. And then when, because it's gonna be when, not if she bites me, I need to tell her and vocalize that that hurt. So you'll get to see me cry out that she hurt me. And we'll have to kind of determine with her and you will have to determine with your puppy how much volume and intensity I need to use and my pitch that I need to use when vocalizing. Yeah, get that toy, get that toy. And then when I vocalize and she stops biting me, I need to calmly praise her and tell her that she's a good girl. And then we can keep playing again. And again, when she bites me, I will be able to vocalize. And that will, you'll be able to see when I do this vocalization, how her body language is going to change a lot. Now, the more excited and wound up she gets, 
the more that this bite inhibition training might need to change. Um, and I'll show you that when, when it potentially happens. So sometimes when I vocalize, it won't be enough to stop her biting me. And instead of using vocalizing, I will get up and leave the situation, which also ends the game. And she doesn't want the game to end. She's enjoying playing with me. So if I get up and leave, that's not gonna be enjoyable for her either. You're crazy. And you're just playing with a toy. And I need, I need you to bite me. How often do you say that to your puppy? I need you to bite me. Oh, good girl, good girl. So maybe I'll just get the toy away from her so that she can get a different grip on it. Holy cow, chompers. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe try this toy. Maybe try this toy. This toy would be better to bite me with, huh? <laughs> She's like, no, I've just got this toy in my mouth. Believe me, she does bite. I know I'm trying to make her bite me so that you can see that, but come on. Get this toy. Get this toy. Come on, come on. Or your parrot. This one's got a squeaky in it somewhere. That would be exciting. Ha ha Ouch! 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 Good. So, she got my finger there. Ouch! And she stopped biting me. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Ouch! Ouch. Good, good, good. So I'm gonna just let her calm down a minute. Good. Calmly praising her when she stops biting me is what we want. If you keep the level of excitement up, that's just gonna keep amping her up. Yeah. Come on, come on. Ouch, ouch! And then she stops biting, good, good. And you see how I'm stopping moving my hand? Ow! Ow! When she does it, and then she looks up. And I changed my pitch a little bit, so I got a little more immediate response from her. Good. Yeah. Ow! Good. Like, she didn't even go for the toy that time. She just went straight for my arm. And I vocalized, and she immediately stopped. And then I can praise her and tell her that that's good because what I want is for her to not bite me. And that's the way she gets the good attention. Good girl, good, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Good girl, good girl. What about this toy? What about this toy? This is a fun one. <laughs> She's like, too many toys. I don't know what to do. Sometimes, um, when you're walking around too, sometimes your puppy will grab a hold of your pant leg or something and start shaking it. Just like if your pants were part of your skin, you should vocalize as well. Even though it doesn't hurt, it's still not something that we want. Um, and then we would do the same thing as vocalizing, just like if she got my arm or something. No matter how hard or soft the bite is, I need to vocalize so that she learns that people are wimpy and she should never bite them hard. And then we can eventually eliminate the fact that she should never bite them at all. She's been pretty good about not biting my hands at all during this play session, which is good. Good, good girl. So. If we can't get any more bites out of this. Ouch, ouch! Good. So she got my hand, I cried, and then she immediately went 
to the toy. So one thing that we're going to try to show you here is I'm going to get I'm going to get rid of the toys, which is so sad. Let me have this one and this one and this one. Goodness, you're not spoiled at all. You've got all the toys and you've got that one again. Let me have it. So I'm going to put the toys up so that she can focus on playing with me and potentially biting me a little bit more. Again, um, like I said, it sounds counterintuitive to play with your puppy and try to get them to bite you when you're trying to teach them not to bite you. But we need to teach them that when they bite us, it hurts. So it needs to be a training session. Ouch! So she bit my toe. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but she bit my toe, I vocalized, she stopped, but she went on with like a play bark. Like we're amping her up more. <whistles> Quest. So we need to get her back here to play. Come in. Yes. Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Yeah. So right now she's just getting loved on. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I'll wrestle around with her a little bit more. Ouch! 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 So when she stops, I would normally praise her, but she ran over there. Come on, come on. Yeah, yes, yes. So I don't want her to bite at my face because I definitely don't want to get bit on my face during this training session. Uh -uh. Play with me. Come on, get my hands. Get my hands. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. Ouch! So did you see how she stopped? Good. That's good. Good. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be biting at my face. I think my hair is creating a little bit more for her to bite at. So I'm going to get rid of it. Not just chop, chop it off, though. Just get it up out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Again, if she bites my shirt or, ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah. So, did you see how this is a little bit amping her up? So the next time if I vocalize and she barks back or thinks that we're playing more, I'm gonna get up and leave the situation because then it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So she ran away. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Ouch! <sighs> so she's growling at me and playing with me a little bit. Come on. <whistles> Roll. Come on, Quest. Come on. There. Don't jump on my face. Don't jump on my face. Ouch! Ouch! <whistles> So she's growling and I'm going to leave the situation and until she calms down, we're not going to play with her anymore. So I left um, the situation and then she's not getting to play with me. So you see how when we were playing with the toys, she would accidentally bite me every once in a while um, and when I did vocalize she would stop and be like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I could praise her. When I eliminated the toys and we only had me to play with and I'm wrestling around with her, you saw how it got a lot more intense and the play escalated and the vocalizing wasn't cutting it with her. Um, that's why wrestling with your puppy um, isn't always a good idea because you are instilling those behaviors, those wrestling behaviors, and you're conditioning that situation. To, you're conditioning those situations um, that your puppy's gonna continue until they are an adult. And when they are an adult and they're a 60 or 70 pound dog, it's not going to be the way that you want them to interact with you. It might be cute now as a puppy, but it's not going to be when she's an adult. <whistles> Quest, come back here. Good, good. So, calm hands. Ouch, ouch. Come here, come here. 
And you can also see she's getting a lot more amped up out of control almost. So this would be a good time to say, hey, you're getting overstimulated and you are getting overly tired and we need to just take a break and you can have something to just go lay down and chew on instead of playing. So I'm going to pick a toy that she wants to go chew on. Which one would you like? This one or this one or maybe even your new one, that one. Yes, that one. So, redirecting her focus from playing and getting that escalation is okay as well. Just giving her a toy, something that is okay to chew on instead of us as an object and a fun toy to chew on um, is something that you can definitely do, especially when she's getting overamped. Um, we aren't making any progress at that point in her training, so we need to say, okay, Time for a break for both of us. I need a break from getting bit. She needs a break from playing this game and getting over amped up. <laughs> and she can get pet calmly while she's chewing on her toy, that she's a good girl. Not really sure how that's a comfortable position, but okay. Yeah, good. Were there any questions that we had that popped up? No questions, okay. Well, if there are questions when you have a chance to sit down and watch this video or you're watching it again and something pops up, definitely leave us a comment. Let us know. We'd be happy to answer those questions for you. But this will be a great time for Quest to just relax, have some independent play and some independent chew time because um, this behavior is also very satisfying for her, just getting to relax and chew on something. So... Um, Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more training videos.